All right, you are watching DefenseReview.com. We're back at the Nemo Arms booth, and uh, I've got Clint Walker here, and he's going to show us through this little, take us through this little gun. It's a little 300 blackout. Yep. Little, little, cute little number here. <laughs> we got, it's a little, little, little guy, but it's, it's really interesting. So let's, uh, let's go through it. Well, yeah. Again, David, this is our uh, 300 blackout uh, short barrel rifle. It's an integral suppress. This is, uh, features a seven-inch barrel and uh, Gemtex titanium can. Um, the titanium uh, suppressor was actually in development with us, uh, kind of a secret uh, joint venture, uh, for a little over a year now. So we've actually been hiding uh, what this was uh, in, in the videos that we've done. But um, you can see it uh, fits right under the handguard here. And um, we actually run it with Sonic and Subsonic. Uh, and it's an incredibly quiet, uh, robust monocore design. And you've got like a diamond opening here. Yeah, so a lot of people will note that it's a it's a square opening. Square on there. opening, but uh, you know, in diamond config. Right. In, the in terms that, of its orientation. Yeah. The reason that they did that is because you can actually just plug in a socket wrench right to it and uh, tighten it onto your rifle. So um, pretty slick. We do a lot of a lot of work with Gemtech. We're happy with them. So this rifle uh, again built on our uh, our uh, match billet receiver. You'll note on all uh, Nemo rifles uh, we feature the Tango finish. It's a true hand anodized finish. Six part process, no two are the same. A couple other little, um, little features that I want to uh, point out to you. We have a forward grip feature built right into the magwell. Right. Um, we actually had, had uh, brought that out uh, first into the industry. We've noticed a number of companies uh, starting to put some sort of grip feature on there, which we think is great. Right. Um, and it's not so much that you want to run with a grip on the magwell, but uh, if the rifle's slung, you at least have a grip point to, uh, to track it with. Another thing you'll notice on Nemo rifles is we've got this uh, this triangular cut here in the magwell. That's just for a point of index. So if you're off trigger, or your fingers are cold, or you, you've got a, a glove that you've got a nice point to index to. Yeah, that's interesting. I've never seen anybody else do that. Yeah. Again, uh, everything that we do is, is done with it done with the end user in mind. Um, we do a lot of work, uh, development work, uh, with the military, and um, we just watch the operational environment and uh, design to that. Um, again, we're using a Geissele uh, trigger group in this one. Uh, we either ship this rifle... Um, You're running a flat trigger on this. Yes, so this is that three-gun uh, match uh, uh, flat trigger. We also have used Chip McCormick and uh, Timney. It depends on the preference. Um, uh, my personal favorite uh, recently, I've been spending a lot of time with a Chip McCormick. Um, but at any rate, um, that's the, the rifle here again. Our, um, and, and this, and by the way, this SBR has a what length barrel again? Seven and a half inch barrel. Seven and a half inch barrel. Yeah, so, and okay. you know, I'll tell you something, to dispel a little myth here for you. Um, I tell people this is my personal hunting rifle. Um, we actually uh, crack, crack targets at 440 yards all day long with this shooting oh, really? Sonic 300 Blackout. Supersonic 300 yeah. Blackout. What grain? What, what, 168 what brand? grain. 168 uh, grain, what brand? Yeah. Uh, Hornaday Amax is the Hornaday is the, Amax is the tip. And wait, wait, 400 to 450 or 450 max? Uh, 440 yards is our 440 is gong yards that we have set up that we do. That's a 10 inch gong. Consistent. Yep. And there's uh, there's actually some videos of that online of us uh, doing that because we had a group say, "Oh, there's no way that you're you're uh, whacking targets like that." But it's extremely effective rain. Uh, at any rate, the bolt carry group again uh, done by us. It's nickel boron coated. Uh, I do want to show you another cool feature on this. Um, we do have the Law Tactical uh, folding stock portion here. Okay. Um, we do a lot of uh, a lot of work with those. Extremely effective uh, as a as a um, component. Uh, we have the again the Mission First Tactical uh, minimalist. Battle Link minimalist stock on here. Um, the cord that you'll see on some of the uh, minimalist right. stocks, um, they actually call the NRAT cord. It stands for Nemo Rapid Assault Team. So we've done some uh, development work alongside uh, Mission First. We like those guys uh, yep. a lot. Um, MFT. Yep. Again, BCM uh, Warfighter. Uh, 
Okay. Charging handle. And then, um, uh, is, is this a BCM over here on this one too, or no? Um, actually, no, because we use the side charger. Oh, on right, this the one. side charger, right? Yeah, yep, but yep, yep, all yep. of our rifles with the standard charging handle, we use a BCM. Gotcha. And uh, which makes great products, BCM, oh, yeah. great company. All right. So, uh, and then we've got this little number, which is a this is an SBR that's in seven six two. Yep. Really. Seven six two SBR and uh, pretty cool. And you got uh, oh uh, this you're you're rocking the arc. Our yeah. defense, it looks like. Um, you know, actually, we just put that on for the show to oh. promote those guys. Uh, oh. uh, we right. haven't actually played with it a whole lot, but um, we shot the rifle an awful lot. And uh, there again, it's just a, it's a 10-inch barrel SBR. We do a lot of short barrel rifle work. Gotcha. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it, Clint. Clint Walker, Nemo Arms, SHOT Show 2014, and you are watching DefenseReview.com.